be tough right now, but um, what do you think about this season for the fans that they had something to be proud of for this, for this Super Bowl game, Super Bowl season for the Bengals? Yeah, um, this season was definitely special. Um, this team is special. And, you know, we fought until the end. Um, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately, we just didn't um, capitalize there at the end. But, um, but yeah, you know, I mean, I'm so proud of this team and how they fought. And, uh, you know, we're just going to, you know, build off of this and, you know, kind of take it into the next season. Kind of this is going to be the goal we're kind of working for. Evan, how close did you need to get there at the end? Um, I mean, I think we could have really taken a shot from, I don't know, maybe 65 or so if it was the last play of the game or if it was fourth and 10 and we didn't feel like we could get a first down there. But, you know, I'm going to trust the coaches. Um, they're going to put me out there for whatever they believe I can hit. And, um, you know, we just didn't, I guess, get into range. I mean, we might have been a couple yards away, but. Evan, what does it feel like to have such a young, promising team to yeah. have done this and be looking forward now? I mean, I think it makes this moment, um, obviously this moment sucks, but I think it makes this moment a little better just to know, you know, this team is so young and we've got so much talent um, that's going to be around next year. And so I feel like we're not really going to skip a beat and uh, come into next year ready to uh, come back. Are you going to be back here next year? Oh, yeah. Wherever it is, I don't know where the Super Bowl is next year. Arizona. Arizona? Well, hopefully we'll be in Arizona. Evan, looking back on the season, what are you going to remember the most? Um, I mean, honestly, it's just kind of getting to know all the all, all, all of my teammates. You know, I, this has been, like I said, a special group. And I, I've said this before, but I had the most fun uh, playing football than I ever have this year. And I think that just kind of speaks highly of, you know, my teammates and, and the coaches that we had around us. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll keep saying that this team was special, and, and they truly were. But uh, you know, it just sucks that we couldn't get it done. Evan, how about, how about Joe's performance today? He gets sacked seven, eight times, gets his knee tweaked, and yet he keeps bouncing back up. Yeah, I mean, that I think it just shows Joe's toughness and, you know, his uh, – willingness to never give up and I think that kind of shows that you know we are going to be back here if it's not next year then it's the next or maybe a couple years but you know with, with him leading our team you know I know that we have a really good chance of winning football games. I know it didn't end the way you wanted it to but you did tie yeah. Adam Vinatieri's record. Yeah. Uh, you were perfect in the postseason. Did you feel like you were just getting better and better as it went? What were your thoughts just on your performance this postseason? Yeah, I mean, I just, I really try to take it one game at a time, and obviously I had the, the goal to break that record, and, you know, I, we tied it. Um, so, I mean, that's cool and all, but, you know, it sucks we didn't win, but, you know, I will say I'm honored to, you know, be up there with um, with Adam and, and everything he's accomplished, and, you know, he, all, his, all his records are kind of what I'm striving for throughout my career. So, um, I mean, that's a cool, cool moment for me, but, um, yeah, it sucks we didn't win. I mean, it's a once-in-a-lifetime uh, opportunity, really. And so in football, I feel like we got to compartmentalize a lot of things. And so I thought I was able to um, kind of compartmentalize the game from the, the halftime show. And, you know, those are some of my favorite artists. Um, so I just thought, I mean, like I said, it's one once-in-a-lifetime deal. And I thought it was pretty special. Were you planning on doing that the whole time before the game? or Yeah, yeah. yeah I was planned. <laughs> Is there anything you guys do as a team now that you think you'll keep doing in the off season or any activities or traditions? I mean, I think we showed it um, with last year's OTAs where we didn't have anyone not show up. And so I think that's definitely going to continue. Uh, we're definitely going to have, you know, a couple of guys working together, whether it's in Arizona or, or Florida or wherever it is, you know, there's always going to be uh, a group of guys that feel like working together. And so I feel like, um, you know, they're really not going to skip a beat. And obviously, I'm sure Joe's going to be throwing to Jamar and T and, and uh, Tyler a lot over the offseason. So. Any steak dinners? Do what? Any steak dinners? Any steak dinners. I hope so. Evan, what does it feel like as a rookie, even though you lost this game, that you were asked to make 20 kicks in this postseason, yeah. field goals and PATs, and you made every one? 
I mean, it, it definitely feels good that you know I was able to uh, contribute to the team and and help this team you know get to the position where we wanted to be, and that was here. Um, like, I, I mean, I, I, I'm going to go out there, you know, with the mindset I'm going to make everything that the coaches send me out there to make. So, um, you know, I feel like I did my job pretty well, and I feel like um, this whole team uh, did their job as well. But I think we just kind of just came up short there at the end, and uh, it's definitely going to leave a, a sour taste in our mouth for next year. Is it football cruel sometimes? Do what? Football. Isn't, isn't football cruel sometimes? <laughs> it is sometimes. Um, it you definitely experience is. both, your team. Yeah. You inflicted it on other teams. Yep. And they inflicted it on you. And now we, yep. And now we know how it feels, so. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. thank you all.